In this video, you will learn how to record a group presentation using Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams can create a video file that includes a PowerPoint, any other visuals that you share with your screen, as well as the faces and voices of the presenters. To create this video, you will create a meeting in Microsoft Teams and record that meeting as your presentation file. Before you begin your recording, there are a few steps to set up the presentation. You will want to choose one member of your team to be the meeting host. The meeting host should have a copy of the PowerPoint open on your computer. They will also create a meeting invitation and call the rest of the team to join the meeting. Once you're ready to go, the team meeting host will start the call. Next, if you're using a PowerPoint, you'll want to share it to the screen. To do this, click on the up arrow. This will open the share tray. Now choose the presentation that you want to share and it will load in Teams. Next, you will start the recording. To find the recording, click on the three dots and then choose Start Recording. All participants in the meeting will see a notification that the recording has begun. Now you will do your presentation. Speak slowly, clearly, and confidently. Don't worry about small mistakes. Continue on as you would if you were presenting in a typical classroom situation. Note that only the person who shared the slides will be able to move them forward and back during the meeting. If you don't have the host control and you're presenting, use cues like next slide to move the presentation along. Once your presentation is finished, go back to the menu with the three dots and choose stop recording. The recording will take a few minutes to process. When processing is complete, you will see a notification in the chat window. Click on the three dots to open up a larger menu, then choose Open in Microsoft Stream. When you click on the menu with the three dots below your video, you'll notice that you have a few options. One of the options is to trim the video. You may choose to use this option to remove any video before or after your presentation starts and ends. To do this, move the sliders to the start and end points of the video, and when you're sure you found the right spot, click Apply. And please note that any changes you make here will be permanent. Lastly, to submit your video as a Moodle assignment, you will need to first download a copy of the video. To do this, open the three dots below the video and choose Download Video. You will then have a file that can be uploaded into Moodle when you submit your assignment. For a demonstration of how to complete this last step in Moodle, please refer to the video on uploading video assignment submissions to Kaltura, linked below.